Welcome back. Spring means new life, but also hordes of insects. While some people consider them pests, they actually have pretty important jobs in our environment, and that's especially true for our native insects. Terry Belke explains as he takes us to the outdoors. Each year as spring bursts upon us, much is said about the relationship of honeybees and dandelions. Mm -hmm. The prevailing thought is to help the bees by preserving the plants, mm -hmm. which are said to be an important source of nutrition for the bees. While this is mostly true, it ignores some other important facts. Neither dandelions nor honeybees are native to western New York. Honeybees colonized North America along with the European settlers. Though they are important to agriculture and food production, they can have negative effects on native pollinators. The farming system that we rely on both uh, changes landscapes, it takes away natural lands and turns them into agricultural lands, and then agricultural practices, including using lots of chemicals and pesticides, are also harmful to native uh, pollinators and, and other native wildlife. The renewal of the season reminds us of the interconnectedness of life on the planet. Native plants and animals have developed alongside each other for millennia and need each other to survive. Non-native and invasive species have the potential to destroy these important relationships. A chickadee with one nest with two babies requires up to 10,000 caterpillars over a three-week process to feed just that small nest of babies. Now a native tree, like an oak, supports a lot of native pollinators that create caterpillars, whether they're moths or butterflies. A non-native tree, like a calliope pear, supports maybe two. And so if you're planting non-native species, you often end up with trees that don't support things like bird populations. Native insect populations are critical, especially pollinators, but many suffer from the stigma of being perceived as an unwanted visitor, a pest species. You can learn to live with them, and, and if you indiscriminately decide that you're going to kill what you consider to be a pest, you might have uh, unintended consequences, which involves killing all the other pollinators. Supporting our native populations of plants and animals leads to strengthened biodiversity which is critical to all life on earth. This includes all creatures we consider a threat or a nuisance. All life has a purpose and the responsibility to maintain this balance is shared by all of us. You don't have to broad spray getting rid of all of the insects. That's just a dangerous thing to do. It, it's helping contribute to the collapse of the earth's ecosystems. We can do better. It's easy. And uh, if you know more about why we're doing better, why we need to do better, um, it, it helps you make informed choices. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.